These people are only interested in knowing if you fell off yet. If you drop from the face of the earth in life. If you are on the streets begging. If you are down in a dungeon. Are you stuck in a pit? Are you miserable? Are you in a mental institute? Are you struggling financially? Are you self-destructing? Are you miserable? This is all these people were interested in knowing about you. And it's really sad that these people only are entering, interested in knowing if you fell off. When they should have been praying for you. And hoping that you became a better person. But instead, they only want to be interested in itching ears. And knowing if somebody like you fell off in life. See, but God surprised these people about you. He surprised them. See, he made you radiant for his glory. He cleaned you up from all the filth and the sins that was in your life that was displeasing in his sight. And in return, you gained a close relationship with the Heavenly Father. And these people that were so adamant on seeing if you failed in life, now they have to watch you in prosperity. They have to watch you in abundance. You're not in a mental institute, but you're giving therapy to many people that's hearing your life testimony and story to help them in their life. See, these people wasn't expecting that from you. They wasn't expecting this type of elevation and this type of this type of season to be in your life right now. No, these people weren't expecting that from you. They were so hateful towards you that the only thing they cared about is if you fell off, fell off so you could come running back to them. Instead of you running back to these miserable, toxic people, you decided to become better spiritually, mentally, in your heart, in your mind. You started praying more. You started reading the Bible more. Hey, you even got baptized with water to show God that you want to be washed cleansed of your sins in his sight. You repented. You turned from your wicked ways and you started serving the Lord in spirit and in truth. And these people are shocked at what you did and who you are now as a person because their, their plan was only to see if you was if you would fell off in life see in their mind they didn't think you could succeed without them they thought you was going to be lonely that you was going to feel abandoned that you was going to suffer from mental illness and torment because they weren't a part of your life no more they thought because they disowned you that you was going to cry under a rock and not show your face ever again. Oh, but the devil was a liar. You were in a pit for a temporary moment because these people threw you in a pit. And then you rose out of that pit and you're greater than ever. Now you're sitting on the palace. You went from the pit to the palace. Glory, hallelujah. You're no longer in the pit, but now you're in the palace of the most high Yah for your life. And these people are watching in jealousy and envy because they didn't expect you to rise out of the deep pit they put you in. Glory, hallelujah. See, these people was wrong with how they viewed you as a person. See, they didn't think you was worthy enough to be loved. They didn't think you were worthy enough to be treated with respect. They didn't think you were worthy enough to ask for help and for them to help you because they always thought they was so much better than you. But really, in return, God is showing these people that your faith was better than their faith. That's why he raised you up out that pit into the palace. See, what your enemies have for your demise, God made it out for your victory. He made it out for your victory. You no longer have to listen to these folks. But... 
They're still waiting to see if you failed. Tell these people to get out your face. Go cry to their mama. Go do something. But stop waiting on you to fail. Because God said according to his word, Jeremiah 29 11, I have plans to prosper you. Plans to give you a hope in the future. That's what the Lord's plans for you are. Because you chose to be in right alignment according to his word and who he is as your heavenly father. That's what he wants for you. So these people, why they playing on you to fail? Why they try to throw you in the pit? They actually threw themselves in the pit. Because what they was meaning for your downfall, it turned out to be their downfall. This is why you don't wish bad on people. You don't wish bad on people like you that's filled with the Holy Spirit. See, these people didn't know that. They didn't know that. They were too busy looking at your outside appearance and how nice you were as a person. But they didn't know you was a spiritual fighter and a warrior spiritually. And they didn't know they was digging their own pit coming for you. No, these people don't know that. God don't tell them that. He just knows when they touch you or when they mess with you, they eventually will be dealt with because he's going to deal with them. That's how faithful and good God is to his chosen child or children. See, these people had no business coming for you. They had no business making you out to be this horrible person. Why are they waiting on you to fail? God is preparing you for success. Why are they waiting on you to crawl back to them? God has opened up new doors for you to walk through that these people can't even walk through. See, all God wants you to do is close that chapter. He didn't want you thinking about the foolishness that these people try to put you under. He said, forgive them and forget and move forward. And you've done that. So God is proud of you. Now you're sitting in the palace for his glory. Because he knew you were better than the foolishness these people was trying to put you in. They had no business coming for you in the first place. They had no business waiting on you to fail. They had no business having an evil heart towards you as a person because they want to listen to lies of other people or because they just want to be jealous and envious of you without cause. It's not your fault that God made you the bright person you are. It's not your fault that God chose to elevate you. You chose to get right with God. You chose to honor God his commandments, and try to live a holy life as much as possible. And in return, God put favor over you. Favor. Because you were obeying him. And you wasn't following after the ways of this world, but following after the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness. So God added the rest of these things onto you because of that. See, God didn't like how these people treated you. He didn't like that they was trying to wait on you to fail. So what God did was, because y'all want to wait on my child to fail, I'm going to cause them to grow amongst you. Every time y'all look up at this individual, they're going to be in a greater place than you last left them. And even greater and greater and greater than before. So while they're waiting on you to fail, God has a sense of humor. He's going to continue to prosper you because he knows their heart is not looking at you in the right way. So why are they waiting on you to fail? You're going to continue prospering because God says so. <laughs> so you wouldn't have thought that about these people. You wouldn't have been waiting on them to fail in life like they did you. No, you would have prayed for them. You would have loved them with your whole heart. But these people chose to hate and mock you. Boy, they got a price to pay for that. Why they were mocking you and making you out to be this horrible person and despised you without cause. God is causing them to now 
look at you in your elevated place. You're in a palace now. <laughs> You're in a palace. You dwell amongst princes, princesses, kings and queens in the palace. Because you are a prince. Or for some of you, you are a princess in God's eyes. So now you're dwelling amongst those that are similar to you spiritually. Why these people got to sit back in the hood or in their miserable place because they wish bad for you. Now those things that they wish bad for you is coming up on them sevenfold. See, this is why you don't wish bad for people and wish for their demise. Because you think you're better than this person. Because you're popular. Your popularity don't mean nothing to the kingdom of heaven if you're being wicked. And these people want to be wicked when it came to you for some strange reason. And God did not like that. They wanted to be wicked. They wanted to treat you wrong and foul. And God looked at each one of their hearts and weighed it on the scale and said they would never be in your presence again. They got to watch you now rise higher and higher every time they see you. The only thing they can do is mope and cry and wish that you was a part of their life again. But God is saying, nope, you didn't treat my child right when they were in your presence. So why would I want to bring my child back around a group of miserable people that never made it out the hood, so they say, never made it out of that place? Why, this person is in their new chapter or season of their life. No, you continue to stay in the hood. You continue to be toxic and rip your hood like these folks, how they be doing it. Wreck your gang affiliation, which is demonic in nature. You continue to rep the things that you shouldn't rep. And hate on the person that you shouldn't have hated on. Because you want to be evil and wicked. This is what God is telling these folks. And they can't handle it. They can't handle the torment they try to put you through. Your elevation alone is their torment. You being in a palace after they them throwing you in a pit is their torment. You no longer will go back to the pit. It's only up from here. You already at your lowest point. You've been kicked low. These people want to kick you lower when they already kicked you down. You don't kick somebody when they already in a low place. But instead of them praying for you, they kicked you lower. So God saw the ugliness that's, that was in these people's hearts. And he said, I'm not going to bring this person around y'all ever again. And when I finally make this man or woman the person I called them to be, y'all can't ask them for anything. Because you never had a righteous heart towards my child. God says, touch not my prophets. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. They chose to touch to his anointed and chose to do his prophets harm. And God did not like that, how these people treated you. As his anointed one and as his prophet or prophetess. God did not like that. So now they got to deal with the punishment of you rising in elevation every chance they get or every time they see you. They got to look up at you. They can't look down at you. They got to look up at you now. And some of them are being forced to walk away from you because they're not worthy enough to be in your holy and divine presence. Glory. Hallelujah. See, you didn't need these stank people around you. They want to be stank towards you. They want to treat you lowly and like trash. And God didn't like that. But now, them roles have reversed. Now they look like trash now. And they're not worthy enough to be in your presence. But they thought they were so much better than you. They sent gangs to people. Everybody turned against you. Be out of jealousy and envy. And now they still got to watch you in glory. Won't God do it? Won't God do it? Won't God do it? He had turned around in your favor.
Hallelujah. He'll turn it around in your favor in front of your naysayers because he know they don't have a righteous heart towards you. But you had never thought that about them. Your heart was pure towards these peoples, but theirs was wicked towards you. So now you got the power in your hand. God gave you the keys. You got the keys to the palace. They got the keys to the hood. That's all they got is keys to be in the hood. Why, you got the keys to the palace. God has surely made your enemies your footstool. And these people that was planning and waiting on you to fail. The devil was a liar the whole time. And these people ran with the lies of the devil because they can't understand how you being elevated without them. You ain't need nobody but God. That's all you need. You needed God. You didn't need them. You needed God. While they wanted to be ugly and hateful and miserable, they thought you really needed them. And God was telling you all along that you never needed these people. You only needed to focus on him so he can elevate you for his glory. And that's what he did. Now you and God got a closer connection. Very close. God talks to you like he talked to Moses when he was confronting God at the burning bush. He talks to you just like that through the power of his Holy Spirit. And these people can't understand the relationship you and God got. They can't understand the way you're moving and why you move so swiftly and why you go where you're going because God is talking directly to you and telling you what he wants you to do for your life and you're listening. Why these people chose not to listen to God, you chose to listen to God and you have been elevated because of that. And these people want to be upset and mad about it? Sucks to be them. <laughs> they should have just listened to God and not waited on your downfall. And then they wouldn't have to worry about them being in the pit and you being in the palace. <laughs> That's the prophetic message I have for somebody on today. You continue to be blessed and don't worry about these haters. Until next time, family. Bye-bye.